Hackography, where tech meets art. Today, we are going to find out what is the share count of the camera Canon EOS 550D. In some countries, it's, it's known as a Rebel T2i or KISS X4. Now, you will do this using the firmware hack, which is called Magic Lantern. And to do this, we will need the following. We will need the camera itself, a well-charged battery pack, and an SD card. Now, it doesn't really matter if you have a lens attached to the camera body or is it just only the camera body. Also, make sure that you have a well-charged battery and uh, you make sure that you have secured all of your pictures and videos from the SD card because otherwise it will be lost while we will be formatting the card. Now you can insert all the stuff in your camera like this and uh, look at the mode dial. It should be in a, one of the following positions. It should be either in the P mode, in a TV mode, in the AV mode, M or ADEP mode. I recommend to set it in the, into the P mode. It is important because um, you, you will need to access the full camera menu which is only available in one of those modes. Now we can turn on the camera and go into the menu by pressing this button on the left top of the camera back. Now you will be in the menu and you should now navigate to the first orange menu item and you will have there an option to format your card. Do this, but as I told you before, make sure that you secured all of your pictures and video from the card. Otherwise, they will be completely lost. And there is an option to set a low level format. It's not necessarily required, but if you want to do this, you can set this flag. I will go without. And that's it. The card is now fully formatted and we can also go and check the following menu, the third menu, uh, the third orange menu. And you will see here some, some information. And the most important for us here is the firmware version of the cam camera body. This is important because the Magic Lantern uh, firmware hack um, only works with a specific version of your firmware on the camera. We will need the 1.0.9. This is a version which works with the Magic Lantern. So basically, if you have a lower version, then upgrade to the 1.0.9. If you have a higher version, then downgrade to the 1.0.9. Now, when you formatted the cam um, card in the camera, extract the SD card and we will proceed with our computer. On your computer, open an internet browser and navigate to the Magic Lantern homepage, which is www.magiclantern.fm. As you can see it here. Once on the homepage, scroll down to the section which states supported cameras. In the list of supported cameras, you will find our camera model, which is 550D or Rebel T2i. Now we can proceed to the download page. You can either scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the Yes, take me to the downloads menu. Or you can also select the downloads menu from the menu above. On the downloads page, Click on the link Download Nightly Builds. Here you will see the list of all supported cameras again. And the section which is interesting for us is this one for our camera model. And you will see here 
that this firmware hack can be only applied to the firmware version 1.0.9. So again, if you have older firmware than this one, then you have to upgrade to this version. If you have a newer version of firmware than this one, then you have to downgrade to this version. Don't worry, they have this version also available within the Magic Lantern homepage. You can take it and uh, put it on your SD card and basically upgrade your camera through the Canon menu. Well, you will see here as well the date of the build, which is pretty old because right now we have June 2019 and this build is almost one year old already. Doesn't matter. It should work anyways. And see here, all tests have passed, so we are good to go. Click on this link, 550D Rebel T2i, and it will bring us to the page where we can actually download the firmware hack. You see it here, magic lantern dash blah blah blah. So download this file to your download folder. You will also find here the installation instructions and here at the first tab, here is the link to the actual firmware of the version 1.0.9. If your firmware is older or newer than this one, then download this one, put it on your SD card, upgrade or downgrade depending on your current version and you will be at the version 1.0.9 and then you will be able to apply the magic lantern to this uh, to this version of the firmware. Okay, now we will switch to the download folder. In the download folder, we will find our archive with the magic lantern hack, which we have just downloaded. And now you will need to extract the SD card from your camera and put it into the card reader of your computer. As you can see here, it should be recognized by your computer as an external drive called EOS underscore digital. On this drive, on this empty SD card, we, which we just formatted previously in the camera, you will find normally two folders, which are completely empty. So do the following now. Now you should take this zip archive with the magic lantern hack, which we just have downloaded and extract it completely to another folder and then navigate to this folder. And you should normally see a folder named ML a file named autoexec.bin and another file named ml-setup.fir. Take all of this stuff, copy it or drag it to the SD card folder right into the root like this. Now you got all this insights of the archive right on your SD card. Now you can extract the SD card from your computer and insert it back into your camera body. Now take the SD card with all of the files which we just copied from the computer and insert it into your camera like this. And now we will turn on the camera and we will go into menu again and we will press on this menu item which is called firmware version 1.0.9 like this and now the camera ask, asks us um, whether we want to update the firmware now we will need to choose OK wait a little bit and you will see that some 
screen will appear from the magic lantern uh, which sets all the necessary flags so that this magic lantern hack can be applied to the camera now it's done already it goes really quickly and you shouldn't wait very long because if you see here on the bottom the counter is running right now and um, if we will wait for one minute in, in in total it will set back all the flags so that the firmware will not be applied it will basically basically uninstall the magic lantern we don't want this that's why we will turn off the camera like this now all the flags were applied to the camera which are required to run the magic lantern firmware hack we will need to turn on the camera and go into the magic lantern menu which is reachable through the pressing of this button here it's a delete button it's located right here on the bottom right side of the camera body press it like this and now you are in the magic lantern menu by default you will land into the audio menu and now you have to navigate further to the right to the debug menu and when you are in the debug menu you have to scroll down using the cross um, down button go down through all the menu items until the shutter count menu item this is what we are looking for and you see in my case it is 16,010 plus 603 and it says that uh, the 16,010 is a shutter count of of the shutter in the normal mode whenever you use your viewfinder to uh, take a picture and the 603 is a shutter count in the live view mode whenever you in the live view mode and you take a picture or shoot a video it's counted there additionally yeah that's it if you want to keep the magic lantern you don't have to do anything else the firmware hack itself is stored not in your camera firmware but on this SD card it's important to understand the only thing which were modified in your camera are actually all these flags which are required to run the magic lantern but the firmware in the camera itself has not been modified all the stuff are magic lantern stuff are located on your SD card it also means whenever you delete these folders and these files from the SD card or format your SD card the magic lantern will be erased as well so you can use the magic lantern um, as long as you want if you don't want to keep it then you will need to do the following you will need to turn on the camera again using the SD card which already have an um, magic lantern inside um, inside and you will need to go to the standard can menu right here now you see we have our firmware version is also 1.0.9 but it is um it has have some addition here which indicates that this is a firmware which is modified to to run the magic lantern now you can press again on this menu item and your camera will ask whether you want to uh, run a firmware update press ok and this magic lantern screen will appear again it's very much similar to the screen which we used to set all the flags but now in this case you will really need to wait the whole 60 seconds the counters right here on the bottom line it will come down to the zero and then it will erase all the flags from your camera 
So we have five seconds left and that's it. Disabling boot flag, done. Please restart your camera. So we will need to turn off the camera and turn on again. And now you don't have any magic lantern here. Whenever you press the delete button here, nothing will happen. So you will not go into magic lantern menu. Let's check the menu item here. Uh, about the firmware version, it stays again 1.0.9. So we are back to completely normal mode of this camera. No, no, uh, firmware hacks are applied in this case. And all of the files of the Magic Lantern are still located on this SD card. So basically you can use the same SD card to either install it again on your camera or you can format the SD card and completely remove all the Magic Lantern files. So we are back to the absolutely normal mode. There are no traces and um, no traces left from the firmware hack on your camera. And um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below whether this way worked for you to find out your shutter count and maybe even write down what is your shutter count in your case. In my case, it was slightly above 16,000 actuations. So yeah, give me a like if you liked this instruction and subscribe to the channel to receive the similar videos in the future. And I wish you a great day. Bye bye. Hackography, where tech meets art.